motion for the agenda and the minutes. We'll make a motion to approve the agenda and minutes. A second. I'll say it. I move and second. Any further discussion? Hearing none, all in favor say aye. 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 Opposed, same sign. Motion carried. Uh, Rich is not on there, is he? No, he's not going to be. Yeah, he'll be. He's under the weather. No, he is too. for the close second. Okay. Uh, there wasn't any drainage claims, was there? Regular claims, you guys looked them over? Yes. I'm looking to approve the claims. A second? A second. Then move and second. And for the discussion, hearing none, all those in favor say aye. 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 Both same sign, motion carry. Hey. Any reports? Yeah. Oh, oops. There's more. Payroll claims. Oh, okay. Got the payroll claims there. Take a motion to approve the payroll. I make a motion to approve the payroll claim. Second. Mm -hmm. I'll second it. I'll second it. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> Any further discussion? And then I'll be fair to say aye. 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 Both same sign. All right. What's the report? Oh, yeah. No. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Oh, this is yours. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's an election reimbursement. All right. Take a motion to approve the reports. I'll make a motion to approve the report. Second. Second. Moved in second. Any further discussion? Hearing none. Motion to favor say aye. 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 <clears throat> Is there any payroll eligibilities? No. Uh, your license? No. Floor appointments? No, I know. Um, Unless you wanted to discuss, discuss I know no, that's not an application for any months. For oh, public health. Public health. And there should, just wants to stay on. Yeah, and there should be one for Kathy Meyer or somewhere. Yep. We already saw that. There's, and then there's one other one there. Wow. Well, it's the Myers. It doesn't matter. Two there, and then um, oh, um, the VA too. I want the VA. Okay. Good. Okay. So they're just ones that you'll ask on the second. Okay. That's next third. year. Yep. Do you see them third? Mark those plots, Jackie. Mark those plots. Is that holiday? New Year's Day. No. Friday. Well, you know, Friday. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. Because you haven't seen Marks, have you? Mm -hmm. Mark? No, not yet. I'll check it later. Yeah. And then that's a big 50 special analysis is on nine. I don't know. It was like the is on nine fifteen. And then Melissa. Melissa, are you there? She's there. Yes. Okay. You, you're, you're on me already? Yeah, we got a couple things here. Jackie, we'll wait for Jackie to get back. But yeah, we're going to look at that new home base application, Iowa application. Okay. I did send it to Jackie. It's just removing those. Um, yep. That one word. Changing the language. Okay. Yeah, when she gets back, we'll take a, make an action. Anything else? Um. No, I did. Send, I'm sending Bruce the updated information, the corrected information about the resolution. My okay. bad for assuming that. Sorry. No, that's and fine. And then, um, did do you, uh, AJ? Did you give a Bernie a call back yet? Yeah, I'll get a hold of him today. Okay. After we're done here and chat with him a little bit, so. All right. Okay. Um. Yeah, it's just a language change for that home base Iowa application. Mm -hmm. So we've all seen it. It's mm -hmm. good. I'll motion to approve the uh, changes in the home base Iowa application. I'll second it. Ben moved and second it. Any further discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor say aye. Aye. I post some time. Motion okay. <laughs> okay. Thanks, Melissa. You bet. 
This is not on today. Um, any department heads? Sheriff not here. Anything else, Jim? No. Nope. <laughs> Work continues on the camera and door system. Um, they're taking a little break here because of the holidays, but uh, then we'll get back at it. The okay. camera should be finished up pretty quick and then we'll work on the door systems. Okay. See you yeah. on the supervisor anymore. Yep. Keep an eye on you guys. I report like a first one's get. Why is that? Uh, is that you know, purpose? Well, vulnerable systems first. So. <laughs> All right. Did they grab the server X out of our shed yet, Joel? I have no idea. Because I'm not sure I'm going to check. I think they grab most people. I was going to say, I would guess next week that we would be very trim in our office. Um, and it looks like that Corey camera seems to be like it's been okay since we switched port, so I think we're good there. They're hooked up to direct power, aren't they? The cameras. cameras. So it's power over Ethernet. So the cameras actually go, the switch actually provides the power. Power. Yep. I'm just curious, I mean, because otherwise, battery life would be pretty. Tough to yep. Nope. Okay. The switch is uh, distributed. Cool. Okay. All right. Anything else? All right. Supervisor Weekly. I have, we have, well, we all had the Linwood Betco Executive Board meeting and the home base Iowa we just got done with. Uh, we went through the proposed budget forum and then had a discussion on whether to continue support of Avance. Okay. So. Um, then I had partners for children. We finally got a coordinator hired after quite a few months. Her name is Jill McKean. And then we just basically went through the contract expenditures and we were coming up that we penciled it out to the end of the year for the trauma-informed care contract. And we were coming up short and we had plenty of money, money in there in other departments. So we did some transfer and we transferred $68,000 more over that to make sure that that was funded. Uh, I had EMA and Mark got us up to date on the shelter for the command trailer and the electrical upgrades that he did. He put an electrical outlet in there and then he also did electrical upgrades in the uh, in the inside shelter down there for the EMA. And we went through the budget and officer elections and uh, tentatively approved the budget the way he had it at the present time until we figure out where we're at on wages and stuff. Uh, then we had 911 and the biggest deal there was getting the backup server for the central square so we don't have a problem with that again like we did for eight hours here a while back. Uh, we also, she's using an ICAP grant to get a new Armageddon phone which is a good deal. And then we went through the budget and then the radio grants we kind of switched over because everybody wants pagers. So, okay. I leave that up to the fire department. Yep. <laughs> well, and we, uh, I think us and a bunch of others have gotten WCD grants for radios yep. and at the tune of over 5,000 a piece. Um, we get a lot more pagers for, I think, for what the grant yep. dollars are. So. Um, that's why we were looking that way. Yeah, well, I didn't have any problem with no, it. I, whatever works for you. Yeah. You know, whatever you're convenient with. So, mm -hmm. and uh, <clears throat> that was my week. Okay. Hey, I had a uh, oh, just a short Zoom meeting with the Care Connections Work Group. And we're discussing uh, adding some employees and making a few changes within the the program over there. Um, and just she's already kind of had that stuff figured in her budget last year and. Want to make sure that we're going the right direction to uh, possibly uh, get somebody hired over here um, to cover just Winnebago and Worth counties, um, because then the next the other person would go uh, Palo Alto and Kasuth, and then we'd have Clay and Osceola. So this way, um, that may be coming up here in the future that there may be a job opening in this area uh, to cover those two counties as far as uh, the mental health region. So. We'll see how that goes in the, after our next meeting. And then I had a uh, uh, Shell Rock Watershed meeting, kickoff meeting with our engineer. And uh, so we're going to have some, we got a schedule kind of figured out. Uh, we're going to have some public meetings, I believe, in February or March um, to discuss what needs to be done or what kind of projects we're looking at doing and that kind of stuff just to get our, our comprehensive plan built. So 
uh, everything's going in the right direction on that, trying to get that thing started. So uh, that's all I have. Yeah, the only other thing I had was we had a public health meeting on Friday. Um, what were some yeah. policy updates for nurses and safety um, concerns like trips and falls and things like that, and uh, added some policies for that um, that was suggested for them. We went over the budget, reviewed that. Um, looks like it'll be a little lower than last year, even if we did do salary increases, but. Um, we basically accept the budget as presented with the possibility of the understanding they're going to have to, everybody, everybody else, we're going to have to come back and look at this again more than likely. Mm -hmm. So um, we did that. Um, and I guess that was it. So, okay. Uh, is any of these, nobody's on yet, are they? Yeah. I don't see anybody coming in. Okay. Sounds like Clara CP will be your first one. 50 would be the actually the first thing would be to accept for electing. So we got to wait. All right. We'll recess till 8 50. Okay. And we'll do the 2022 special election city of Kansas Canvas. Okay, this is pretty cool. Um, okay. This is just more of a technicality. Oh, I think Basically, there was one absentee for Randy Bradford, and then there were um, 12 votes for Mike Williams and 37 for Randy Bradford, so a total of 38 for Randy Bradford for a total of 50 altogether. And that's it. So I just need you guys to sign stuff. It's good here. I think I got arrows wherever I need signatures. Yeah. And somebody has the certificate too. I got one of these. Yep. I just need copies for um, the city and for us. To the certificate now. I don't say we don't sign that certificate. Right? Uh, Mark, Mark, I don't think it's good. No, there's only one place to sign them. Okay. Where do I send them? Uh, you need to sign this one. Yeah, yeah. Mm, yeah please. You're the pros. I'm the pros? Yeah. That's a little confusing. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. Just want to get enough for everybody to yep. get what they want. That was a lot of work for, for a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. This time. Officially. Yeah. Okay. Sorry, I didn't film my time. Nope. It's okay. <laughs> All right. Well, we'll uh, enough signatures. <laughs> we'll recess the meeting again until nine o'clock. What were the other? No. Are you all? Morning. Morning. Um, my name is Allison Mason. I serve as the director of RSVP. Thank you for having me today and thank you for your flexibility and rescheduling me. It's a little icy on the fifth. So yep. 
Um, I appreciate that. Um, the big news with RSVP is that we just feel like we're very much back to business in a large capacity. Um, currently in Worth County, we're serving two school districts, 33 students in six classrooms with 19 volunteers. Um, there has been some volunteer hesitancy, understandably over the last couple of years, but the thing we've heard overwhelmingly from educators is that if we can find the volunteers, they can put them to work. Um, there are kids who definitely need the help and we hope to bridge that gap. Um, a lot of students who have identified needs in literacy already received supports. And so um, we try to meet those kids who maybe haven't quite qualified for those formal interventions, but we help them from um, getting to that point. So um, <clears throat> a statistic that I'd love to share is that 80% of students who participated in 2021-22 school year did um, improve their literacy um, goals. And then um, the stat that I love the most is that we surveyed students themselves and 83% of the kids who participated with RSVP shared that they felt a more positive attitude surrounding reading in general. So even if their targets aren't quite where they need to be yet, the fact that they are feeling more confident and feeling better about the subject in general, I think will take them further. So um, <clears throat> funding is critical to continuing to serve even more students. Um, our goal, like I said, is to fill a gap in our schools. Um, and so with that, we um, respectfully request $4,500 for the coming school year um, to help continue to meet the need within Worth County. And that's the same as last year. Okay. Yeah, big drop off in volunteers there, wasn't there? There was. Um, I will say, though, um, we brought on a new volunteer coordinator, and last year in 12 months, we onboarded 58 volunteers, and she's onboarded 54 already this year. That's wow, obviously not exclusive to Worth County, but she is whatever magic she has. <laughs> she's super engaging, um, and so she's done a great job. Maybe I should have her look for poll workers. <laughs> well, that could be a volunteer opportunity. That's, that's, that's yeah. yeah, outside of the schools. Yeah. Okay. So. Well, um, I take it into consideration. I know it's a good deal still. So. We appreciate it. And if there's any, just in general, as you hear conversations about volunteerism within your county, please. Um, think of us because we're always open to opportunities that are outside of literacy as well. Obviously, okay. our focus is um, education, but where there's a need, we're happy to try to um, step up and fill that. So I appreciate okay. it. Awesome. Well, thank you for coming in. Thank you so Thanks. much. Thank you. I will. Yeah. Have a great holiday. Thank you. You too. You too. Okay. On yet, she's not 15, is she? Can we guess? Let me text her. Sure, see if she could hop on. And we're out right of schedule, she wants to jump on there. Yeah. She's able to jump on early. Three boys are working. Three boys. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, it looks like I'm gonna have crisscross because I think that's for DD2. Oh, the one that just came on, and I thought I gave her the link oh. for the other one. It's three senator, maybe. Yeah. You put it in the chat. Okay. If you look, just copy and paste the new room. So, nine thirty. Nine thirty. You got land on that up here, don't you? The signs on it? No. So we have a little bit of turbulence woods that goes into it. Okay. We're the start of it. And pop that out. Well, because they we annexed in the that private stuff that went south, otherwise we wouldn't be in it. Mm 
Yes, ma'am. Hey, Jackie. So Jim called. He got an email, and I got it too, saying the DD2 was canceled. Who would email that? No. Yeah, it says cancel DD2 hearing. No. Oh, no, no. That was just. Was that like that Zoom or? Yeah. Hey, Zoom. I took okay. their names off when I sent it to Joel. Okay. Oh, so Jim got it, I got it. No, yes, yeah, so it's just you two that would have gotten it. Okay, so it's yep. so good. Yep. Okay. 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 Yeah. He called, he's nervous. And I was oh, like, gosh. I'm like, she didn't come up and tell me anything. And I, think it was I just wanted to, so. I didn't want to okay. confuse anybody sending the link again. Jim and I you. made it even worse. It's okay. I'll call him back. I'll tell him. So go. Okay. Right. Thank same, you. Same, same Zoom invite. What? Same Zoom invite. Same Zoom. Okay. okay. Mm -hmm. I suppose they sent me the update. Yeah. Well, and I just took the other two off, not wanting to confuse them. Sure. And there you go. There you go, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Better yeah. make it less confusing and we got more. Leave it to me. <laughs> Ask my kids. So at least you have, uh, oops, here we go. We got somebody. <laughs> Healthy harvest, right? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Good job. Just came on the phone. So I printed, this morning printed three, and everyone else. Yeah, you Marie did email us. Yeah, so yeah. So here's the real deal if you want it. Absolutely. Um, Good morning. Good morning. How are y'all? <laughs> Good to see you. You as well. Thanks for having us this morning, Aaron. Thanks for being there in person too. <laughs> so I uh, uh, saw you passed out our. Um, update and funding request for this upcoming fiscal year, um, but we are excited to be able to be with you today and kind of chat through what we've been up to and what we're looking to do next year. So uh, first and foremost, um, well, you all and you all know how they harvest, but you know we work to connect and educate and support of the local food system. And I have to say it's an exciting time here in Iowa as far as local food, as there's been a lot of great work happening statewide. So um, that really lifts up all of the um, important work we've been doing here in North Iowa lately, um, but being able to amplify that even further. So I'll get into that a little bit later, but um, first and foremost this year, uh, we have Aaron McCord as one of our contractors. And um, I know I am very excited to say that she was both a local food coordinator as well as our interim director as I went on maternity leave for four months. So uh, very fortunate to have her uh, step up and her leadership. And um, again, thankful that she is a Rick County or Worth County resident, excuse me, a morning grain. Um, so that was great. Um, we did a recipe demonstration at the Worth County Fairgrounds, um, which Erin uh, can definitely talk about and was excited about that. Um, we did our local food guide, so we lifted up those producer and buyers um, from the Worth County area, as well as um, the various businesses that list in that, and we're able to distribute those through our local papers, um, so that was a nice way to get the word out about that, as well as our online directory that we um, continue to manage that way. Um, we do different social media posts as far as like Grow, Eat, Play North Iowa. So definitely talk about the different ways to engage in the local food system. And um, additionally, specifically from Worth County, we have two of our board members, um, both Tim Knudsen and um, Dana Thomas are both um, longtime board members of ours. So we're, we're happy to have them as a part of it. And in general, I know we've been talking about a farm to fork dinner for a few years in Worth County. Um, unfortunately, this year was also not the year, but uh, we have more energy going into next year and have some ideas kicking around as far as um, a new um, developing farm space that we're hoping to partner with, as well as, of course, um, with Cafe Mir and Joshua over there. So 
um, some good good stuff happened this year and looking forward to continuing that energy next year. Um, as I mentioned, there has been some really great statewide conversations specifically around um, distribution. And I know any of you who know any local producers know that distribution and marketing is um, just a, a realistic barrier, especially with Iowa that's so spread out. Um, and we want to serve all of our communities as best we can. So there's been a lot of work happening as far as making a network of distributors that are able to support our local producers um, to not only be able to have them sell to different parts throughout the state, but also to be able to bring other locally produced products um, from Iowa into our local communities as well. So um, we're proud to be a part of that project. And as a part of that project, um, there's been two large USDA grants. Um, one is local food for schools, and there's another one that is a uh, local, local food purchasing assistance program. So that second program focuses on um, primarily low income, but low income, low access. So what that means is we've been able to bring um, a significant amount of local food into those different populations um, and bringing that money into North Iowa has been very important. So that looks like schools, food pantries, um, meal programs um, and the like to be able to be able to source that product locally so it's supporting our local farmers as well as be able to again get that access increased for those folks so um, we're really excited about what those projects mean but I will say that the funding as you can appreciate some of these bigger projects the, the funding pretty much started in September October which is not quite um, the time that we look for in the farming world because that's towards the end of the season but there's been a lot of great relationships being built already and that will continue uh, for the next couple of years so um, particularly what that looks like here locally will be um, hopefully a great impact that I'm really excited about. Um, so that I know as well as just generally, um, again, those statewide relationships have really built up some of the work around uh, advocacy, policy advocacy around um, uh, different aspects around uh, farming. So I know one of which is farmers markets. So there's a new law or uh, excuse me, new change regulations at the state level as far as licensure. And they've actually expanded what you can do with a home license. So um, I don't know if any of you have ever tried to buy, uh, for example, some uh, canned products, you know, like a, um, what do I want to say? Like beans, for example, or asparagus or um, pickled beets or those types of items. I know that's been a limitation um, in the state of Iowa that you needed a pretty decent license, home license to be able to do that. Um, mm -hmm. Some of those products will now be able to be sold direct to consumer at farmers markets without as many hoops to jump through. So um, we're mm -hmm. excited what that means for uh, local folks to be able to look at production and um, be able to expand into those spaces too. And last but not least, another project that I we're working on and excited to be jumping into is really looking at that value added space here in North Iowa and looking at the potential to create a shared use kitchen or and or um, shared use equipment that would be allowed um, or it would be able to let some of our local businesses, um, again, home growers, be able to use these spaces or this equipment to be able to do some of that value added production and be able to um, then sell it at farmer's market or beyond. Um, because we realize that that's one space is growing or producing some of these local products, fruits, vegetables, meats, honeys, those things. But even as something as simple as making a salad mix or um, dried herbs or something like that, um, oftentimes does require um, a licensure or some of these other equipment pieces. So uh, we're excited to have some funding and be able to dig into that project and be able to be a resource to our local businesses in that way too. So. Yeah. Um, we're definitely always trying to uh, grow and expand what we're working on and um, again be that resource for anyone and everyone who's interested in either producing or consuming local food. So with that, I do um, want to pass it over to Erin for her to be able to share her perspective as far as what uh, we've been working on and some of the great things that she's been noodling on too. So Erin. Well, Marie covered a lot of it. You guys have any questions? Like <laughs> anything you want to know about us? 
Sounds like you guys are gaining some steam at least. We are. I you feel know. like it's been like a couple of years of building back. Um, we had some really great summer contractors this year. So we hit almost all the county fairs this year and a bunch of different community events. Um, I handed out about 200 samples outside the hog show at the county fair. And yeah, no, we've been doing a lot of stuff. And like this, uh, we have this farm to school grant. Um, we're going to share a position with, uh, we're going to create a position. We're going to share with Sarah Gordo extension to go into the schools and kind of develop some programming to take into schools, determine where there was like an absence of food programming and what we can do to kind of fill that in. Um, uh, we'll be putting together these workshops. I'm going to have a farmer's market workshop probably in March at NIAC again to go over these new regulations. Last year's was a good well-attended event and um, with this new stuff I think it's going to be like very important this year for people to to have like a detailed explanation of it because it's hard stuff to kind of research on your own and send mm -hmm. through so yeah no I think I think we're doing good stuff <laughs> no, no, it's like, it sounds like it so. yeah well appreciate your time we see your ask on the back there and so we'll take it into consideration and see what we can do so yes and we very much appreciate um your support throughout the years. Um, I mean, as you know, we are a pretty small organization that tries to do a lot. Um, so we hope we're good stewards of um, any support that you can lend our way. And we very much appreciate your time and everything you all do. Well, thanks for your work, you guys. It's uh, I've attended one of those farm to fork dinners yes. about four years ago now. Yeah. yeah. Those really were fun. so good. It was good. I enjoyed that night. Yep. Yeah. Oh, they're quite an undertaking, but yeah. It was, yeah. yeah. Sure it was. Yeah. I wasn't part of it. I just showed up. Keep working on it. it so. <laughs> well, I was just, yeah, Kenny and I went to that. And I think you were probably there. Yeah. That it was, it was, uh, yeah, it was very enlightening. <laughs> I think I've been to four or five of them. Yeah, well, of course you have. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> well, thank you. We appreciate it. Thank you. And thanks for coming in here. Yeah, thanks for coming. Yeah, thank you. Have a good day. Thanks, Marie. All right. Thank you. So that pretty much wraps up the business we have on this agenda. Mm -hmm. We are just going to recess, do the drainage hearings. Is there any action during the drainage hearing we have to take after the hearing? We're just going to recess this because if we, well, there's nothing. There's nothing on here as far as action, but right. we don't take action on public hearings. No. So. Mm -hmm. Just. I mean, we. I guess you recess again then. We will need to at least accept the report. Oh, um, yeah. Yeah. Well, no, we did that a long time we ago. We did. Okay. We yeah. accept yeah. the report. And I don't know if, if it's a repair, if you make a decision or not, because uh, repairs had to get. Well, let's done. just leave it open. Leave it open. Because we'll have to, yeah. Well, we'll have to do that to go into the hearing. Jim can yeah. give us some advice right. on that. Yeah. If yeah. not, we will take get it on for next week's action. Any action yeah. I have to do. So, so we'll just, uh, yeah, we'll recess it for now. I'll have to close this to start the other Zoom meeting. Yeah, so. Good point. Okay. Yeah, we're just recessing and, and we'll reconvene. We won't actually and reconvene the meeting until after we go through the public hearings. And the link for the DD2 meeting is in the chat. For anybody on, for anybody on, anybody anybody on there, because this meeting will get closed out. I think Zoom portion, anyways. I saw CJ Abby to do. That's what I was guessing. Yeah, she's on for DD2, I'm sure. Other than that, CJ? Carol. Is it Carol? Carol Abbey. Carol Abbey. Okay. Hey, I'm here. Hey, hey, Carol, did you see the link for the DD2 meeting? Because this, this Zoom meeting is going to go away and we're going to open up a new one for the DD2. Yeah, I'm going to try to join yeah. the DD2 oh. meeting. Uh, so, yeah, you guys are recessing. Yep. Yeah, the DD2 meeting right. will start at 930. Yep. Yeah. You got a new link, though. Yep, I'm gonna. I'm out of here. Thank you for letting me know. Oh, not a problem. Just making sure. Thank you. Yep, yep. Thank you. I am here. I haven't fallen asleep yet. <laughs> okay. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks, Carol. Merry, Merry, Merry Christmas, guys. Merry, hey, Merry Christmas, guys. I'm just saying. You've done a good job. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks. Who's that? Carol. Okay, so do you, you guys want to go ahead and close this one and then start the new go up there? Yeah, get the new one started, give them a chance to come in. Yep, okay. Carol won't flow in there by Nagel. Yep, I know what's going